A Prime Minister trying to take back control of her party, her programme, her policy agenda. How much does this glass cost, if I break it? Uh... <laughs> A moment of levity, but she knows what's at stake. The cost of that massive U-turn could be huge. But for now, no regrets. Frankly, the 45p wasn't a priority policy. And I listen to people, and I think there's, there's absolutely no shame, Beth, mm. in a leader listening to people and responding. Mm. And that's the kind of person I am. And I've been totally honest and upfront with people. But it, everything I've done as Prime Minister is focused on helping people get through what is a very difficult winter. Is Liz just going to survive to the end of the year, Mr Gove? But questions about how she'll get through this winter with her back benches in revolt. Home Secretary Suella Bravman on the front bench unhappy too. Ultimately, I'm very disappointed that members of our own parliamentary party uh, staged a coup, effectively, and undermined the authority of the Prime Minister um, in an unprofessional way. We are one party. Penny Morden, how big a mistake would it be to cut benefits? That coup will likely continue. Penny Mordaunt and other cabinet ministers, past and present. Do we need to uprate benefits in line with inflation? Do you agree with colleagues on that? now split over whether benefits should rise in line with inflation or not. The policy decided by the last Prime Minister to uprate benefits with inflation, you don't seem minded to do that. We haven't made a decision on that issue yet. I think voters are just tired of a lack of honest answers. I'm, I'm just saying to you, you're not minded to do it. Of course we will make the decision on the benefits uprating in due course, but that decision has not yet been made. What do you, what do you want to do? Or are you just you're generally ambivalent? I'm not ambivalent. I am focused on the issue at hand. The issue, though, is ambivalence outside this room from within her own party. On the issue of um, uplifting benefits by inflation or earnings, what would you like to see happen? Because there's a bit of a division over it. Well, it's a decision that will be made collectively in the normal way that government decisions are made. I haven't seen any papers on it. I don't believe a decision has been made. But it's understandably a question that people are asking. Not just asking, but arguing about it. Former Cabinet colleagues on fringe events of this conference subtly hinting the government should make the shift. If you were the Chancellor, would you uprate welfare benefits in line with inflation or would you be more cautious? So I think right now, along with the wider reforms that have been outlined on supply side, etc., etc., there is an opportunity to actually get some of these policies right. And that means supporting people, giving people the support that they need in terms of getting to work, getting the jobs, but giving them the financial support as well where it is needed. What's your message to some of your... Backbenchers, sir. No reply. Tough times for this cabinet and their PM. Prime Minister, you've been in power for 28 days, but 10 of those politics was paused. In 18 days, then, you announced £45 billion of tax cuts without setting a fiscal framework. The pound tanked. A thousand mortgage deals withdrawn from the markets. You established a 33 point lead for Labour in the polls. And now the lady not for turning has announced a massive U-turn on a policy. This is surely the worst start of any Prime Minister. Well, let's remember what we were facing four weeks ago. But do you accept we that it's facing, been a bad start? We were facing families having energy bills of up to £6,000. And what we have done as a government is acted decisively. Swella Bradman, what's your message to MPs and infighting? What would you like to say to them? Can you like behind the Prime Minister? She's going to win. Thank you so much. But that is an uphill task. The polls are terrible, the party's disunited, and this PM's in trouble. Tomorrow, Liz Truss will make her first leader's speech. A lot is at stake. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Birmingham.